So I was a student for three years, two years in x-ray school and one year in MRI school. So I think I have a lot to say about being a student in radiology. A first tip I would give you is to make sure you have good shoes because you'll be standing and running around and doing exams all day. On um, the second tip, I think you've probably heard this a lot, is it's a two-year interview. And that's true because I was hired um, at the clinical site that I did x-ray at um, before I even graduated. So make sure you take that seriously. I don't know if you're an x-ray student or a MRI student, but just make sure you're witnessing or going on every exam. Stand up, ask to do anything that you can, and make sure that you're always watching, being active, taking notes, anything you can to look busy. And I don't really mean like look busy, I mean like you really want to learn, you're literally paying for this, you're not getting paid, you're paying tuition money to be there, so make sure you're learning while you're there. Now that could be in the form of stocking sheets, uh, stocking blanket warmers, wiping down coils, wiping down machines, stocking rooms. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. One of my favorite tasks to do as an x-ray student was to um, fill the blanket warmer because it was in front of every modality, right? So everyone knew I was busy and it was really warm in there and I was always cold in the morning, so. <laughs> and you kind of have to be gracious with yourself because you're always learning and there might be people that learn faster than you, slower than you. Um, but everyone's learning, even once you're tech and hired, you're always still learning new things. And if you know there are outpatients that start at, say, 7 a.m., get there at 6.45 and start setting up the room, um, turning on the machines. You'll want to know when they do outpatients versus when they do inpatients versus if you're x-ray, if um, ERs all the time, if fluoro has different um, time slots. But I think learning that department flow early on is one of the best things you could do to make you stand out. Um, another few things I can tell you is to learn how to transfer patients, whether that be like sliding on a cart onto a table or a proper like safe wheelchair or Sarah study, that, that'll make you stand out too. And that's all stuff you can learn on YouTube before you go into clinicals. Also, this is very specific and niche and something I did when I was doing x-ray school. Um, make sure you ask before you go on lunch break and kind of time it so you're going on lunch breaks different times than other students and other techs. This is important because you'll be available during some of their busiest times at lunchtime and you'll also, also be able to learn more because there will be less students to compete with if you're taking lunches at different times than them. So yeah, I hope all this helped and good luck. You're going to do great.